So the first tool that I want to show you guys that Reason introduced is the stereo tool. And guess what? It does just that. It takes mono inputs or mono sounds and it gives you the ability to make them stereo or to widen them. So you can hear this guitar without the stereo tool. And then you can hear it with the stereo tool. And now it's just nice and wide and beautiful there. Well, the next tool that I want to show you guys that Reason has introduced is called the Sidechain tool. A uh, Sidechain is really cool. It actually has a lot of different patches that you can choose from. And some of those patches are triggered by MIDI and some of them are triggered by audio. If the track is triggered by audio, then you need to have this sidechain input. You need to have this connected to something. So for example, you can have that connected to the out of your kick drum, or you can have it connected to some other sound, but you just need to have that connected to something for that sidechain tool. And then it will be triggered by the audio input, or you can have it triggered by MIDI. So then every time you have a kick drum, for example, it will trigger that MIDI. It really just makes creating a side chain that much faster inside of reason here's the sound without the side chain and here's the sound with the side chain So right now it is actually set to auto pump and it is being triggered by these parameters within here. You can change and adjust the parameters and that will affect your side chain. And we got something like that. If we switch this to trigger, now we are going to be looking for a trigger to actually be creating that side chain effect. So when we choose MIDI, we can actually select which note we want this to trigger for. So we're going to set it to C1. Now we have it to C1 and I have a drum patch here. I can actually just copy this over down onto the track where we have the sidechain tool. And now that C1 will trigger the sidechain. And as you can see, there is a light that comes on that says trigger. But you also can set it to audio. So we took our redrum parallel out and we sent that into the sidechain input of the sidechain tool. So now it's triggering the sidechain via audio. In our drum loop, there's a kick and a clap and a shaker. So if we have our threshold set all the way down to the bottom, then any of those sounds can actually trigger our sidechain. You can kind of hear it, there's like a little click, but the more we raise the threshold up, the less our side chain will be affected and we can pretty much set it to the very top of that and that'll just be our kick drum. Last thing that I want to show you is the gain tool. Now, gain tool has been added so that in those moments when you just need a little bit more sound, a little bit more audio, you can use gain tool and you can use it pretty much anywhere that it will fit into the rack. You can use it on instruments or like how I have it here on my master section. So we're just going to increase this gain until it's smacking like how I like it. <laughs> You have some width control with the gain tool as well. So if I want, I can increase the width of this track. Or I can decrease it. It also includes a mute. And something that's really cool for like drums, drum sets, is you can invert each of your pans. So you can invert the left side or you can invert the right side. And it really does give it this different sound, this phasey sound.
<laughs> Maybe somebody down in the comments below can tell me like in what situation you would want to swap your left and right. I know that for mixing, it can be very helpful to have mono. So you can use the gain tool for mono. So you don't even have to increase the gain at all, really, if you don't want to. You could just use this as a panning stereo field tool as well. So you can set it to mono. And then once it's in mono, you can do your different mixing and leveling. And then once you get your sound right in mono, then you can turn mono off and hear how it sounds with stereo. So that's one tool that I have seen some mix engineers talk about is actually mixing your music in mono and also focusing on the mid range of your sound. Those can be some tools to help you, you know, dial in your sound a little bit better. <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and that you enjoy Reason 13 with all of the added benefits. Hopefully it helps you in your music production to be a little bit more productive and be able to create the music that you have been dreaming of making. With that being said, my name is Chris Reed. Until next time, peace.